Welcome back to consecutive day 806 of a diary of a Rumpreneur. Please remember that this vlog is part of the Rumpreneur Challenge, which is my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. Check the link in the comments below to find out more and how you can support it, but do give this a subscribe and a share. The more people we get in front of, the more money we raise. Thanks for your support, and let's get started. So, consecutive day 806 of a diary of a rumpreneur. Um, it has been, we just crossed the road, um, an interesting day today. Uh, it's Monday, back at work after a really enjoyable weekend. And um, I think I'm, I'm running late again this evening, um, purely because I think we booked another summer holiday today, which is amazing. We're off to Holland. Uh, or the Netherlands, whichever you'd like to call it, um, for a Euro camp week-long break with the kids, which is going to be super cool. And um, so, but the, the downside of that is that I'm running at nearly 10 o'clock at night because to get a holiday booked at this short notice, um, it takes a lot of research, a lot of trial and error until hopefully you get a decent last-minute deal, which I think we have. But anyway... I think I left you with a little bit of a, a um, cliffhanger yesterday. And I said that I had a bit of an argument with my business partner uh, over the weekend about things. And what it, what it was about is irrelevant, really. It's the fact that, in his defence, I didn't do something that I said I would have done. And um, I didn't do it because I didn't necessarily agree with what he wanted to do. And um, I think... I, I sometimes assess my character and my personality at times and I'm, I'm very assertive and very driven and very decisive and I take action, okay, when, when I need to. But there's often times as well where I feel that you, I pick and choose my battles and I feel that even if I don't agree with something, I don't necessarily say so because I'm not a great fan of conflict. I don't think anybody really is a fan of conflict, but I think there's a lot of people who are quite happy with conflict. I'm not one of those people. I'm, I'm happy to deal with conflict when I need to deal with it. However, I, uh, I often find that, or often think that, certain things don't need to have an argument or a disagreement over, um, because it just creates negative energy, which can be a, a real drain on your morale and focus and can often cause you to procrastinate. So sometimes my way of dealing with that is to just kind of go along with things that I don't necessarily agree with. And in this instance, I did. And I had a kind of a caveat in my mind that we'll, we'll leave it till the last minute. It was booking some tickets and also entering into a competition as a business, which I agree with overall as the principle, but I think the timing of it was wrong, and, I, and, I, and my belief was, not only is the timing necessarily wrong, but um, we're probably a little bit too early for us to be going for these types of, um, types of competitions. And business partner, this is right up his street, he loves all this stuff. And, but ultimately I didn't say my concerns prior to him going in for it. And then there's also a, n a load of of work that goes into an application that I feel that time could be spent elsewhere better. But again, I didn't put up those concerns when he wanted to do it. So as a result, he did it and then I perhaps didn't support him as well as I could, which then caused uh, a bit of a disagreement and an argument, which in the grand scheme of things, when I, when I assess it, it could have been dealt with at the time. I could have just aired my disagreements, we could have talked them through, and then come up with the right decision. The right decision may have been not to go in for it. Or it could have been that we said, look, let's go in for it. But at least we would have both been on the same page. And I think, um, just kind of cross over here one second. Just I'd be wary of crossing buses here. But anyway, um, so it's kind of long too short. We sorted it all out as I always said we would. But it created a disagreement that we didn't need to have because I went along with something that I didn't agree with. And for me, I should have just took the bull by his horns and had that conversation, knowing that it would have created a bit of a, a, a kind of a debate, 
but that would have been better to have that debate then than to mislead perhaps my business partner which which I perhaps did and I didn't intentionally do it but um I almost took the easy route where I should have took the more honest and open route and um I think that's something that I'll do in the future 100% because it's the right thing to do but um sometimes it takes an, uh, something like this to make you think and learn from your actions so anyway that's my thoughts from uh, the disagreements over the weekend uh, we're back on the same pace today we've talked it through but it was possibly unnecessary and I have to admit when I'm wrong the fault not necessarily was in the actual decision that was made but the fault was, was within my actions and or inaction in this uh, and the way I dealt with that situation so hopefully that's something I'll learn from in the future but uh, anyway I'm going to leave you now because it is past 10 o'clock at night and I need to get home. So uh, thank you for your support. As always, remember to give this a subscribe and a share as it's part of a fundraiser. And the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise. Thank you for your support as always. Stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you again tomorrow.